have you ever closed the door on something? You know, just last week, I had my, my dream car. I bought it 10 years ago. A Holden Monaro. <laughs> As a child, I used to watch those things drive past. And as I aged, I said to myself, why did they stop making those things? And then there was an announcement by Holden. They said, we're going to bring out the Monaro one more time. And I made it my life's intention, my life's goal at that point, that I was going to get behind the wheel of one of those beautiful machines. Come down. I used to get in my beaten up Holden Commodore and I'd be travelling down the freeway, I'd be visualising the steering wheel as the steering wheel on my Monaro sports car with a V8 engine, supercharged, 5.7 litres. <laughs> and it wasn't long, you know, I was driving past a local dealership and there I was. It was almost like I was vacuumed behind that steering wheel. And I made it happen. And I made it work. And I got that car. And boy did I drive that car. As a matter of fact, I drove that car the equivalent of 10 laps of the beautiful country of Australia. 250,000 kilometers in fact. And just last week I closed the door on that car. Turn it up. Reach out. But the question I have for you is when you close the door, does that mean that the door is really closed? Surge, come on. Surge, come on. Just like losing a loved one. The door is never closed. The door is always open if you want it. The memories. The emotions. The feelings. They're all still within reach. But instead of touching them physically, we touch them metaphysically. So I challenge you, my friends, if there's something you've closed the door on, I want you to open that door back up and let all that energy flood back in.